Right guys, how's it going? It is Thursday the 20th of February 2020 and you're watching Coptog.tv. Alright, so uh, I've done a video about Werner, I've done a video about Sancho and this is a video about Kai Havertz because they're the three main players that we continue to be linked with. Yes, we're linked with various other players and yes, we might end up signing none of these fuckers but we have to address, uh, you know, each one and uh, I think it's time that we discussed where we are with all of them because it seems like a while since we've done that. I do that every single day during the week on the Cop Talk podcast. Just search Cop Talk podcast or Liverpool FC Cop Talk on Deezer, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts, the TuneIn app, etc., etc. Uh, I, I every single week day I go over what the latest state of play is and the latest claims that have been made. But I haven't done that with you guys here on Cop Talk TV for a while, so that's why I'm addressing everything today. Okay, now. Um, what did I want to say to you? Let's get this uh, started, right? I do apologize. So there uh, were some comments uh, that have come out from uh, Bayer Leverkusen Sporting Director, Rudy Voller. Uh, he's been speaking about Kai Havertz. Uh, now, the, the, the most recent credible reports coming out of Germany have suggested that Liverpool will table an offer for one, 105 million pounds sterling, okay? Uh, that was within the last 24 hours those reports were made and they're worth paying attention to. Additionally, the regional media in Leverkusen uh, have uh, also repeated the same kind of claims. And sometimes the regional media that are very close to a club can be a bit on the ball with things. All right? So it's worth knowing that the national and regional media are both making the same claims. They could be sourcing each other, I don't know. Um, but the suggestion is that Liverpool are willing to maybe pay 105 million for him pounds. Now, uh, Leverkusen sporting director Rudy Wallace said, I'm glad that we still held on to him this year. Uh, we'll see how it looks in the summer. He still has a contract until 2022. These are, of course, the classic facts. There was already interest in the summer, but we told him that it would be good for him to stay with us for another year. And that was the right decision. Now, uh, Leverkusen legend Michael Ballack has also had an opinion on this uh, and he chimed in and said he's an exceptional player but one thing is also clear he still needs time he also needs the robustness to be mentally prepared for Bayern I also were uh, also I also needed my time in Leverkusen back then Havertz must now look closely at his development we do not need to talk about his footballing qualities because he is a top player now, additionally to those quotations, there was always, uh, there was always, there was also uh, some opinion from former Tottenham midfielder Stefan Freund. Um, and he said, I know it's a lot of money, but I would advise him to stay at Bayer Leverkusen for another season. Uh, Leverkusen is under no pressure because it is a long term contract. I also know that Rudy Voller recommends that to him. But then comes the pressure with consultants, large clubs that can also win titles, which is relatively rare with Leverkusen. Then it is just too good at some point to stay at Leverkusen. But why not another year? So my opinion is, you know, right back in the summer or the start of the season or whenever you can trace back through my videos, I banged on and said Kai Havertz, and I've done this on CopTalk.com in most written news articles and certainly on the members' website, is that Kai Havertz was, in my opinion, our primary target for the summer of 2020. And what I mean by that is a, the, the, a primary target is someone like Werner, for example, right? These are players that they're not just on a list and they're not just at the top of the list, they're actively trying to recruit them. And out of every player that I think Liverpool are chasing or were chasing, you know, if you go back over my opinions, what I said was, I think Kai Havertz is the primary type, the top of all. Like, he is the main man that Klopp wants to bring into Liverpool Football Club, above Sancho, above Werner, above anybody else, all right? My opinion has maybe changed a little bit over the last three to four weeks because I've seen the amount of effort that's going into signing uh, Timo Werner. And I've seen paperwork, which some of you will know about this, uh, that confirms our interest in him. So I know that this is an idle speculation with Timo Werner, and I'm very upbeat about it. I'm hoping it's going to happen. I don't know if it'll happen, uh, but people are, uh, are saying the right things at the moment, and uh, at some point we're going to know about that, all right? So I would say Timo Werner is currently top of the list 
because I think that Liverpool are more advanced with that. I think they know where to stand with that. The, you know, a source was quoted recently on the Cop Talk members' website as saying that the finances involved, the financials were doable. That meant the uh, release clause and terms and basically getting the nod from you know Werner's camp, you know, from his representatives. Yeah, we can do this. We can make this happen if he wants to make the move to Liverpool, which he wants to play uh, under Klopp. Does Werner? Um, but there is all, you know, it's also to do also to do with game time and things like that. But I've, 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 well, I've addressed it in another video about him. Let's not talk about him. Uh, so um, Havertz is probably not receiving the most attention at the moment. I would say if you were to list them in, 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 in order, I would say that it's Werner, Havertz, Sancho, like that. And the reason why Liverpool are probably not all over Havertz at the moment is because what else is there to do? It's like, we know your valuation. Your valuation's ridiculous. Yeah, same with Sancho. We know your valuation's ridiculous. That valuation has to come down if we're going to try and make it a possibility at Liverpool. Simple as that, guys. So what more can you do if you're in a club that's interested in buying them? You can only sit and buy your time for so long. You can make your point known. So that, that to me, in some ways, when I heard the claim that Liverpool had offered 105 million, that seems to me like a take it or leave it. Yeah? But... It, that, right, I take it or leave it around now would sound about right for me, but still £105 million? Pounds? Do you believe that? Let's convert £105 million pounds into euros. £105 million, I have to type around the microphone. £105 million euros to UK pounds. £88 million. Now that might sound... Uh, more realistic but still overpriced now the thing is the original claims that came from Germany from both the national and regional news um, didn't uh, said 105 million pounds right let's get my head around this again so let's just do this the other way around 105 million pounds in euros therefore the German media yesterday, both national and local, national credible, local I'm not so sure about, but usually they're all right, they, they said that Liverpool had offered 125 million euros. That converts to 105 million sterling. Sometimes I feel like in these countries when they're talking about players, that well, what I often see is they'll say Liverpool have offered you know uh, 105 million euros, right? But then I'll see other publications in another currency zone. So let's let's think about this. And I'm confusing you. I'm confusing myself. So in Germany, the German media say Liverpool are offering 105 million euros for a player, right? Any player, right? But in the UK, uh, it might say 105 million pounds. Even though it's the same thing that they're reporting on, they often get the wrong fucking sign. You know, currency sign mixed up. I don't know if that's happened. Maybe I'm clutching at straws because the media, both local and national in Germany, said 125 million euros had been tabled by Liverpool. I think 105 million sounds more likely because that translates, like we just said, to 88 million sterling. And I think Liverpool would do business at that price. So there you go. Are you still with me? Did I confuse you a little bit? I confused me fucking self. What I'm trying to say to you is this. What, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say to you is this. Often, when a media source in a country that uses the euro quotes a figure as a euro, the British media often sometimes don't convert it, probably because the journalist is like just rushing or whatever, and they sometimes put it as uh, as pounds when it was euros. So, I don't know. It's maybe not relevant in this case. Um, so, okay, Chubbs. What are you trying to tell me then? Right, what I'm trying to tell you. What am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you Liverpool want him. I'm trying to tell you that I don't think he's top of the list right now because I think that's Werner. I would say he's second. I would say that uh, I'm trying to tell you that Liverpool have probably, because I don't know, probably made an offer and said this is what we're willing to go to, take it or leave it. Or have even said, you know, whether they said that to his club or have said it to um, to his, his representatives. That's our limit. And I am telling you that I think Liverpool probably would do business for around 88 million sterling. 105 million? Who knows? Maybe they would. Um, the reason previously, 
you know, earlier in the season, uh, before this new team awareness stuff uh, came up, that I said that um, Kai Havertz was the primary target of the summer 2020 was because last summer, absolutely every single person I know in the media, any agent I know, anybody with any credibility, even the people that like a rumoured, that are connected to people that have got friends that work here and there, people that can be trusted, guys, people that can be trusted, right? Every single one of them said, Klopp's identified Kai Averts is his summer 2020 target. Forget talking about it this summer, don't. He is the main target next year, summer 2020. The thing is, things change. Things change. And things change when the numbers are right. It's all about the digits. So, Liverpool want Werner. Liverpool want Sancho. Liverpool want Kai Havertz. Right? But two of those deals, Sancho and Havertz, way overpriced. Way overpriced. And if you're the Liverpool manager, you've got decisions to make. And if you can hold your front three together and your best players and that, maybe you don't need to uh, overspend, so to speak. All right? Do you get my drift? So... I have no idea if I've explained it properly in, uh, in, in, in my videos. I don't know. Uh, I think I have. I think I have. Uh, in summary, I think Liverpool are trying are in for all three. I'm not going to sign all three. Uh, but, you know, these are great players. So, of course, they're going to be in there. But the price has got to be right. Simple as that. Timo Werner, 50 million. Fucking now, that is it. You, you go for that if you can make that happen. There's no doubt about it. 105 million on a young player. Not so sure. 120 million on a young player? Mm, don't know. Now then, should we talk about Mbappé? <laughs> We're not doing that. Right, that's it, kids. That's me done. Uh, I hope I've made some sense. I do apologise if I haven't. Uh, if you do enjoy my content, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, it would be uh, it would make me very happy if you would join my YouTube channel. There's a join button underneath. There's free options. Uh, you know, if you join the, the lowest tier, it's probably like buying me, you know, three quarters of a, a pint of cider or something. Do you know what I mean, guys? Uh, but I'd love to get you uh, get you involved. And to be honest, those people that have joined my squad that have got involved and have become members, um, you know, they've helped me uh, buy a new desk recently for my videos and things like that. Um, you know, it, it just goes into like making things better. And there are things that I want to do with um, the channel that I can do with your support, to be honest. I really, I did, I record my videos uh, on, on an iMac. Ideally, I would like to get a standalone camera uh, to be able to uh, do them. Because if I do that, you'll get more videos from me. I'm not trying to blackmail you. I'm just trying to say, uh, or bribe, is it bribe or blackmail? Um, I'm just trying to say that's what I would like to do. So when I, when I record videos for you like this, I have to go to another you know level uh, in my property i have to lighten it all up it's just fucking it's a fucking ball ache do you know what i mean guys and it's been really cold of late which is why i haven't been churning out videos as i'm a bit of a wuss like that do you know what i mean but it'll be warm soon so we'll do support my channel if you like my stuff if you don't or you can't don't worry but it doesn't cost you anything to give me a thumbs up or, or a comment and um you know you keep me going you leave some nice comments for me and uh, when I get the nice comments, it really makes me think, you know what, I need to put a bit of effort in. All right. So the, the, the nicer the comments, the more I'll be here for you. Do you know what I mean? Don't worry about people caps locking me to death, insulting me and that because I just blocked them. Well, it's not really a block. It's a thing. It says hide user from channel. So they keep talking to you forever, but they don't know that none of us can see them, which I think is better than blocking. All right, but uh, certainly you, you do put some nice comments in sometimes and I really do read them and I think... Oh, that's nice, isn't it? All right. We've got we've got a good little squad together here. We're good. We're good. All right. So uh, join the channel if you can, you tight fucker. And uh, if not, give me a thumbs up and a comment. All right, right. I'm off. I'll be editing these videos for fucking hours now. Uh, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. All right. All right.